when Islam in 640 conquered Egypt, there wasn't a real big battle because the Romans were ruling with such tyranny that the people thought Islam was like a savior. And Islam kind of gave them an ultimatum. You either become Muslims or you join Amin Ra today. So a lot of people joined Amin Ra and died right there on the spot. And then other people were converted. And that's the beginning of the Moors. The Moors were the converted Africans from the Hopi Valley now, who now became Muslims. And they were warriors. So you now you have the Kushite, you know, all of these Kushite, these warriors, he now converted to Islam. And they become the army of the Islamic, the, the wing of the Islamic. And they sweep all across North Africa. So by 711, all of North Africa is converted to Islam. Not by Arabs, but by these African converts, the Moors. And, and now that I have to say this, I know we don't like to talk about it, but Mali, Ghana, and Sungai all fell because of African converts converted to Islam, sacked and destroyed their own culture and their own parents. So from the inside out. So I just need you to understand. No all Arab army came in and did anything. No European army came in. These were all Africans who were converted who came in. Even when the Europeans under the French and stuff, they just converted Africans and made them their army to fight against the other people. So I just need people to really just do their study. I know people are wearing the fezes and they think they all proud about that. That's the Turks. That's the Ottomans. That's the people who were their enslavers who converted them. They think that was the knowledge. No, the knowledge didn't happen until 640 when they sacked the libraries and conquered Kemet and they took all that information and converted to Arabic. Started in 640, okay, 640 is when they sacked it. So by 711, they had converted all of that stuff now. They had, and let me say this here, when the Africans moved into like Timbuktu and all of that, that writing there was the demonic writing. Arabic, the Arabs took the cursive form, the demotic writing of Kemet and adopted it as their writing system. So they wrote Arabic, just like I speak Swahili, but we don't have a Swahili script right now. We write Swahili with the English, you know, Greco-Roman scripts, right? So they start writing their Arabic language in the Madu, with the Madu Netcher, the demotic. So when the Africans saw this writing of the, you know, the early Quran, they thought it was a continuation of ancient Kemet. But, and then after they realized it wasn't, it was already too late. <laughs> so I, I just need you to say that converts. So the Arabs used the, the cursive writing. There is no Arabic writing form outside of ancient Kemet. They didn't have a writing system. The Prophet Muhammad did not write or read. And those early writers didn't write or read. Balao came from Ethiopia. And he was the knowledge. In fact, the book will even tell you if you really want to know Islam, you have to know Balao, the first convert of Islam, the black man. See, but the Arabs took over that religion after the Prophet Muhammad died and, and fought and broke it up into you know, the, the factions that you have. So you have the Shiites, you have different fashions of Islam. Okay. But I'm trying to tell you, they took the, their key to knowledge, like this, this expression of algebra. That word didn't exist before 640. They took what we were doing and they named it. They didn't have this knowledge before that. So if I go to 500 BC, I'm just going back, go back one more, just 100 years. If I go to 500, they were just desert dwellers. With, you know, with little uh, uh, fetishes and stuff like that, but no nation, no system, no nothing you know, like that. And then all of a sudden now, you know, you get the conversion. So Kemet becomes their treasure. Their treasure. Okay. When they sacked in 640, they just adopted the writing system that the ancient Kemet to U. And like I say, this fooled a lot of the scholars because they thought it was just a continuation of ancient Kemet, not knowing it was a, a total different doctrine.